Hello and welcome back to Cycle Fab. I'm Larry. In today's video, I'm going to be running a test between 5% vinegar, 30% vinegar, and a vapor rust. Now, I have used a vapor rust before. It's been many years ago, and I didn't heat it up or use any kind of agitation in it, if I remember right. That's how long ago it's been. But today, I'll be running the Vever Ultrasonic Cleaner. And the first one I'll be running is 5%. Now this is vinegar that I just bought off the shelf at Walmart for $2.28 a gallon. Now the 30%, that's higher of course, also from Walmart, is $18.47 a gallon. The vapor rust I got at TSC for $25.99 and they had some kind of sale going on. So anyway, if uh, you guys wanna pick any of those items up, that's where I got these and that's the cheapest I could find them in my area. Now, the three pieces that you see down here in front of you are 10 inch lengths of chain. Now, this chain is from the same chain and I just cut three sections off of it. So they all have equal amount of oxidation to them. Now, what I wanna do with the first one is I wanna run it in 5%, second one's 30%, and the last one's gonna be on a vapor rust, and we're gonna check them out, and I'm gonna go through this real quick. So there's not gonna be a camera sitting over this while it's doing its thing. That's kind of senseless and a filler. So uh, let's get going on this. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and go ahead and hit the notification bell too, so you know when my next video is coming out. Let's get to this. 60 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes on each one. Let's go. Okay, it's still rusty, but the uh, it's very deep, very deep rust. Now, like I said, that's just five percent. Let's try the 30 percent now. Okay, this is the 30% vinegar. Uh, it doesn't look like that it did much better. There you go, right there. It did do a little better. Anyway, let's try the vapor rust. Okay, here's a vapor rust. The experiment that I did using the 5% vinegar, the 30% vinegar, and the vapor rust was actually an eye opener for me. Um, I expected more out of a vapor rust. Uh, like I said, I haven't used it before, really. I mean, I, I did many, many years ago, but that's all I recall of it. Um, how it performed back then, I don't really remember. But from everything that I hear about it, I just really honestly expected more. I couldn't tell any difference between the 5% vinegar, the 30% vinegar, and the Avapo Rust when using it in an ultrasonic cleaner. Ultrasonic cleaners are not meant to get off heavy rust, all right? They're meant to clean parts. Usually you use a solvent and it gets the dirt and grime off. That's what they're meant to do. As far as getting heavy built on rust out, no. But it's not going to do it. Unless there's a chemical out there that I haven't heard of, which there may be, I don't know. But if you do want to get heavy rust off very quickly, I'll show you how to do that. This right here, muriatic acid. Works fantastic. Watch. Okay, guys. Take the chain, put it in the bucket. Now I wanna see how long this actually takes. The other ones I showed you what it looks like, you know, during the first minute. This one you'll see during the first minute and it probably won't even take a minute to get all of this rust off. I don't know. Let's take a look. This bucket here is full of water and baking soda and the chain is going to come out of the muriatic acid. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Then goes into the baking soda to neutralize it. After that, I'll probably throw it in some diesel to keep it from rusting again. Here we go. All right, guys, this is the chain in muriatic acid after 10 minutes, actually a little less than that. If I can get a hold of it, 
Okay. All right. The fumes off of muriatic acid is stronger. Uh, the 30% vinegar is pretty bad too. But just, you know, don't breathe it. Do it in a well ventilated area. But you can see here, <laughs> this works fantastic for getting heavy duty rust off. I mean, it's muriatic acid. Now, this is an experiment that I needed to do for me. Uh, just heavy duty rust is not meant to come off inside of an ultrasonic cleaner. Or rather, an ultrasonic cleaner is not meant to use on heavy duty rust. I honestly thought that a vapor rust would do better than that. Now, in all fairness, everything started off the same except for the muriatic acid. Started off at 72 degrees Fahrenheit. I just put them in the tank, turn the cleaner on, and just let it run. The max temperature that all chains got up to, the three that I ran, the vinegar and also the, the vapor rust, started off at 72 degrees Fahrenheit and went up to 48 degrees Celsius, which is about uh, just a little below 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So anyway, take that for what it's worth. Uh, I spent 50 bucks on the Evapor Rust because I bought two gallons. I spent uh, eight, about 40 bucks on the 30% vinegar. And of course the 5% vinegar, that you know, $6 for two gallons, less than that actually. Uh, muriatic acid, if I remember right, is somewhere around six bucks. And you see how well it does. I can stick my hand in here now, but yeah, I mean, Really, that compared to that, and this is the Evapor Rust one, but it doesn't matter because, you know, like I said, the Evapor Rust and the vinegar have the same finish. Anyway, you guys take that for what it's worth. This has been a good experiment for me. I uh, hope it's a good one for you guys so you don't go out and spend a lot of money on something that's not going to work. All right. Now, if you want to check out my modification videos on the Eastwood powder coat gun and also the Harbor Freight powder coat gun, please uh, go right down there. There's my mods down there. Also, at the end of this video will be a playlist also for powder coating and my modifications that I do to powder coat guns. Anyway, guys, hope y'all got something out of this. Uh, I know I did. So y'all take care. I'm out of here. Bye.